the economy are being analysed with even more interest than usual because of fears of a recession after the Brexit vote. There's unexpectedly good news. The UK economy grew by 0.6% during the second quarter of this year. The figures are for April, May and June, so right up to and just after the EU referendum. Simon Jack is the BBC's business editor. Simon, let's talk about those growth figures then. Were they a surprise? I think they were, Winifred, yes. I mean, the Bank of England was expecting 0.5%, so it beat even the Bank of England's estimates. And, of course, a lot of people, although they in only include one week of the post-Brexit period, that last week in June, there were plenty of warnings and uncertainty around in the run-up to that vote and so a lot of people thought they might be a bit weaker than that although i would um warn one thing which is that we've got much better april for, uh, data for april a little bit worse for may and pretty patchy for june these are estimates and it looks as if most of the growth in the quarter came in that first month of april then it eased off a little bit over the quarter but there was some really strong showings from manufacturing in cars and pharmaceuticals uh, boosted by a pretty solid performance in services. So it seems that uncertainty running into the vote hasn't affected economic activity as much as many people thought it would. But there was some bad news this morning as well. The Trade Union Congress, the TUC, published research showing UK workers have suffered the biggest fall in wages among all the major economies apart from Greece. Kate Bell is from the TUC. So we saw wages in the UK fall by 10% between 2007 and 2015. <laughs> 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 to this, uh, a pure...